सो हेलो गाइज विद नेम ऑफ गॉड राम राम सो Amazon ML Summer School OAs are coming up. Okay, this is a very important document which lists the all the preparation material. So go through it. Everything will be given to you in the description. Okay. Now, apart from all that, please know that uh, if we analyze the previous five-year OA questions of Amazon ML Summer School, they are always asking hard and unseen DSA problems. So it's very important for you that you keep on doing uh, new and unseen DSA problems on a daily basis, and you do lots of OA plus CP training. Okay. Now. I have picked up a very interesting problem of one of the previous years, and its name is Robert and Strings. So, what is this problem based upon? So, if you are doing our 851 hour course, okay, in our 851 hour course, there is a very big section made on string plus lexicographic nature on strings plus greedy concepts of string plus palindromic nature. I am not talking about the standard problems on them. I am talking about the hard and seen DSA plus OA plus CP problems. so if you have done those things properly this problem is now a piece of cake for you okay it's a piece of cake but if you have not done that then i will teach you how can you start thinking about it in a new direction apart from that if you are someone new it's very important that you complete the prerequisite course of dsa plus oa plus cp which is totally free for everyone so i want all of you to make sure that you have done this full prerequisite course before coming to this session or else some concepts or some terminologies i say you might not understand so this is a very important prerequisite course it really really helps in building dsa oacp knowledge even if you are not good at that and this is only meant for the medium or intermediate level people this is not for the beginners okay so let's start reading the problem so problem says that the guys there are three roberts ray ben and kevin ray has a string okay and others are having empty strings okay ray ben and kevin so what you can do in one operation is that you can remove any character from the ray string and append it to ben string then you if you want you can remove the last character from ben string and append it to kevin string oh my god so complicated so after you do these operations optimally the final string which kevin has should be lexicographically the smallest so react with emojis if you think you have found a worthy question so this is a worthy problem because whenever you read a question and the answer directly does not come to your mind it means it's a worthy problem solving it is going to you know make new neural pathways in your brain and it will make the problem solving skills of your brain stronger so no direct solution must have come don't worry it did not even come to me so i had to make some test cases but basically we don't have the test case image right only one test case is there which is that so yeah let's let's try to understand the problem uh i think i should use different names okay let's say there are three guys a b and c a has some string by doing some operations the string of a the string of a will be transferred will be transferred to b and c will be transferred to b and c in the end in the end you want you want the full string to be transferred to be transferred to c and finally you want it to lex be the lexicographically the let's discuss that another time for example for now let's just discuss how can you do the transfer procedure so let's say guys a is x y z b is empty c is empty what can you do in one move it's written in the question right you can remove the first character you can just remove the first character you can just remove what the first character you can just remove the first character from string a and you can put it to the string b so i can just remove x from here and i can put x here okay now a looks like this now what can i do i can always select only the first character in the remaining string a so let's say i select y once i select y i can append it to this string so now this is also gone now what can i do next i can pick up z from here okay i will ask you guys in the google chat can you guys write tell me in the google chat what operation can i do next 
so that b becomes x y z and uh, a becomes empty are you ready to write the answer in the google chat are you ready react with emoji are you guys ready okay tell me what to do next to make sure b becomes x y z and a remains empty what will you do you will remove z because z is the only thing available here so this is the first character of a you remove it from here and you put it append it to b so x y z now b is x y z clear so you guys are all intelligent and you guys are understanding it. I'm very happy about that. Nice to see you, Yashraj Puth. So you guys can see that these type of operations you can do as many times as you want. Obviously, you can do them only n times, right? As long as the length of the string. Now you want to transfer the B to C. You want to transfer B to C. What, what can we do? What is the first operation which we can do to transfer B to C? This is such a great, brilliant, excellent freaking problem. What can you do to transfer B to C? You will not see this problem in standard DSSG. That's why I stress so much upon doing new questions. So your brain can open up. So how will you transfer B to C? What is the first operation you can do? The rule is given here. You can only take a character from B and put it to C, but you can only take the last character of B. Whichever string is currently with you, you can only take its last character and put it to C. So guys, tell me what is the next operation to be done. So some character from B can come to C. What can you do? We can take Z from here and we can put it to C. We can only take the last one, right? Append Z to C. Okay. When it... When you want to extract characters from B, you have to extract from the end. When you want to extract from A, you have to extract from the start. Understand the procedure. So I just delete it like this. Z is here. So now B is X, Y. C is Z. Can anyone tell me what is the next operation we can do? I just want the answer in yes or no. I just want the answer in yes or no. My question is, can I take this X and can I put it after Z? Just tell me yes or no. That will let me know the IQ of this batch. Okay. Can I take X from like this string B is what? X, Y. Can I pick up an X and put it here? Can I pick up this X and put it here and make C, Z, X? Can I do that? Tell me yes or no in the Google chat. Can anyone tell me why are you all saying no? Obviously, it's correct because you can only pick the last character of the string B. That is a rule. It is written in the rule. Remove the last character from B, pen string and append it to Kevin C. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. So you guys understand these things. So now I'm a little relaxed. So what is the next step you will do? You cannot take X. So guys, what is the next step you will do? Just write in the Google chat. You will just... Take Y, which is the last character of the current string, and you will just put it here. Append. Then only X is remaining. So now X is the last character of the current string. Take it and just append it here. Z, Y, X. So guys, earlier the string was A as X, Y, Z. B as empty. C as empty. You now know one particular way to transfer the A to C. So C has now become Z, Y, X. A is empty. B is empty. That's it. Okay, so M1, M2, okay, Shivam Petkar, M1, M2, M1, M2, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, nice way of writing, no problem, mm -hmm. so I think when you say M1, M2, M1, M2, M1, M2, well, I did not uh, ex actually get it what M1, M2 you guys are writing. So here, coming to here, this is this, this basic thing is must be clear to you people, okay, I assume that. So everyone has to write yes sir in the Google chat. If they know at least one procedure to transfer the A string to C string such that A and B becomes empty. So we know that procedure. So just write yes sir. And Sagnik later on you can explain me in the personal WhatsApp message what uh, Shivam and you guys are meaning about M1 M2. I did not get it. Other people tell me yes sir if you now know how to transfer A to C. You just have to do this procedure. Okay. Good, 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 good. Great. Okay, M is move. M is move. So how will I understand if someone does not see the full form? Move one, move two. So obviously here, 
for yeah m1 moves if you are calling the a to b m1 moves and then b to c m2 moves that's all right that's all fine okay it is written here so you did first all the m1 moves then the m2 moves guys but this is not a compulsion it is written here that we can make either of the following moves okay there is no compulsion we can make either of the following moves okay so these things are clear but guys there is one more thing in the question what you know how to transfer it to the string c but c should be lexicographically the smallest this is where our course training is going to help you i taught something whenever lexicographically largest or lexicographically smallest question comes up no matter how difficult the question looks like you have to use only a single trick so first we will discuss about that trick so you guys must be knowing what is lexicographically larger or smallest right so le let's say the this the, let's say a string is a b d another string is a b c which is lexicographically let me write here it as a b a which is lexicographically smaller a b d or a b a tell the answer in the google chat so you guys know that a b a is smaller so guys what is the definition of lexicographically smaller you just check both the strings from left to right you just check both the strings quickly from left to right whenever the characters are equal don't do anything whenever they are equal don't do anything first time from the left hand side when you find non equal characters just check which character is smaller so this is smaller so this whole string will be defined as lexicographically smaller clear guys this whole string will be de getting defined as lexicographically smaller this basic thing should be clear to you people okay okay good 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 nice 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 awesome now listen to me very very carefully there is a special trick which i have taught that special trick is what if you are a course training student you already know that when you are constructing the lexicographically smallest final string let's say by doing this procedure you want to construct the lexicographically smallest string you will focus the most what will you focus on the most so i understand this problem is difficult somehow we have to transfer a to b and then b to c but we cannot transfer all the a to b and then all the b to c we cannot do that directly because if we do that directly there is no guarantee that c is lexicographically the smallest so forget the original question just think that you have to make the final string c the lexicographically the smallest so when you want to make c the lexicographically the smallest what do you focus on the most react with emojis if there are some people in this meeting who knows what should we be focusing on in the string c to make sure it is lexicographically the smallest tell me guys what thing will you focus directly on c to make sure it is lexicographically the smallest first character of string c c should be as small as possible that's the answer first character of c i have taught it in previous session i know first character of c should be as small as possible write this statement first character whatever first bakiyo ko bhul jaiye baki jaye bhad mein first character of string c should be as small as possible you know what when this question came to me i was not able to solve it for 2 minutes uh because you know i also have some bias i don't follow the rules of my own course right so i was not following this rule then after 2 minutes i was not able to solve it then i said let's drop my ego and let me follow the rules of my own course <laughs> which says <laughs> That string C first character should be smallest. और जैसे ये चीज मैंने खुद को बोली मुझे पांच सेकंड में आंसर आ गया पूरा क्वेश्चन का आंसर आ गया सो आई ड्रॉप माई ई गो एंड आई फॉलोड माई ओन कोर्स दिस टाइम एंड इट हेल्प मी जनरली आई थिंक दैट माई लेवल इज टू हाई 
I don't need to follow my course. Course is for kids, but I realize I also need to follow it. Okay. Course is best, better than me also. Okay. Trust on that. So, जैसे ये लाइन मैंने कोर्स से निकाल के इधर लिखा ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व हो गया क्योंकि अभी मुझे कुछ सोचना ही नहीं है ऑल आई नीड टू डू इज जस्ट थिंक हाउ टू ब्रिंग द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर टू बी द स्मॉलेस्ट जस्ट डू समथिंग कुमार के सो दैट द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ स्ट्रिंग सी इज द स्मॉलेस्ट एज पॉसिबल एंड द लाइफ इज सेट बिकॉज इफ यूर एबल टू डू दिस यू विल रिपीट दिस एल्गो दम अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन टिल द प्रॉब्लम गेट सॉल्व so first thing is i did a little bit of visualization what happens when i don't do much hard work let's say a is x1 x2 x3 always have faith in god ram ram respect to your mother and fathers father and uh, get their blessings do but do what is right and please have faith in god good health good mindset so if a is this in general what are you doing i just directly visualize this thing generally what are you doing if you are just transferring all a to b this year then this year then this year like you can feel it right i can just visualize it visualize it so b will also look like y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and then if you visualize uh, this how the c look like well the last year so it will reverse in short if you visualize it's nothing is happening when a goes to c the reverse of a is c is nothing but reverse of a you can condense this whole process and assume that the string is getting reversed when it reaches c react with emojis if all of you can understand that in the end nothing much is happening the final technical jargon is that the string is just getting reversed by this process a to b process keeps the strings as it is but now you will just take from the last character in the start so why fight till why one clear clear so you guys understand that uh, you guys understand many things and i really like that okay yeah thank you so much